In this particular section, I'll be talking about the Proxmox VE mobile application. Of course, you can access using the mobile browser, but browser is not giving you all the information. Here is my data center with two nodes, and I can see the data center status also, and version also, and nodes also. These two nodes, PVE and PVE2 are there. But I'm using Android phone on it. Android phone, we can install the app. We'll go here to Play Store, and here we'll install Proxmox. And make sure that you install the native application, which is by Proxmox Server Solution GmbH. I'll simply install this. So here you can skip this step. Tap here on the top corner, validate SSL connection. So I'll not be using SSL connection here. And here I'll add the account. I'll be choosing the IP address of the server. And its default port is 8006, you can see here and I'll be using the user ID here and password. Simply save the password and then continue. Once you log into the Proxmox virtual environment, you'll be able to see the dashboard here. Dashboard will give you system status and here you can see analytics of the usage across all the online nodes. So combined together, you can see the CPU usage and the memory. Here you can see two nodes which are available. One node is PVE and another node is PVE2. From the nodes, all the guest machines whether it is virtual machines or Linux containers, all of the Linux containers will be here. So you can see how many are turned off, how many are turned on. And also you can access the machines from here and you can do the basic operations, whether you want to power off, power on, pause, reboot or reset. In case you want to migrate, you can do the migration from here. You can see all the memory usage and the basic information of this. Go to the PVE, you can see the log and tasks related to it. You can see the usage and what type of services are running, how many updates are available and so on. So power usage and memory usage and load can also be seen from here. So flexibility is there definitely. You can have the node access, the VMs access, containers access. If you have multiple sites or multiple Proxmox virtual environments, so you can switch to the site by going bottom down here and add the site of your choice. Otherwise, you can go here to the site which you have already selected and here you'll be able to see the dashboard. Instead of logging in all the times using your desktop or laptop to the Proxmox virtual environment, you can simply log in to your app and through app you can do various operations. So in order to access the console, I'll be explaining you in the next video.